Words to live by. Hey, Wednesdays are special at KSL. We introduce you to a child living in the Utah foster care system, hoping to find a permanent home. New specialist Ashley Kewish introduces us to Silas, this week's Wednesday's child. I was trying to get right there. The sound of all this Red player, make their move. may sound like heaven to most boys, including 13-year-old Silas. But if Silas seems a little more serious, there's a reason. He knows today is a big day. It's one he's been looking forward to for a long time. About a year. One year. One year ago, he found out about the opportunity to be featured on Wednesday's Child. Well, I've been getting ready to be adopted, and today's the chance I get to be on the TV. Waiting is something Silas is used to. It's just that I moved. That's my earliest memory. 11 years ago, Silas entered state custody, and despite all the time he spent in the system, he says it doesn't get any easier. Because I really want to have somewhere to stay instead of just in foster care, moving around everywhere. It's that constant moving that's been hardest on him. Do you even ask why anymore? No. Why don't you ask why? Because I don't like the answers that they give us. Despite all of it, his caseworker says he maintains straight A's in school and nearly perfect attendance. It is very critical for him to find a home. Um, he, that's all he wants is to be adopted. That's all he talks to me about when I go visit him. Even after 11 long years, Silas still has hope. I've been working hard to get adopted, being good and stuff. He hopes to soon be in a home where the sound of zipping suitcases and rolling bags are never heard again. He hopes that soon the sounds of family will surround him. Like a mother and father, brothers and sisters. For Wednesday's Child, I'm Ashley Kewish. Ashley, thanks to learn more about Silas or any of the nearly 3,000 Utah children living in foster care. We have a link on the Wednesday's Child section of KSL.com.